Hello and welcome to the Scarborough channel today. This is my update number three video. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a quick little update video because there are a few exciting things that are actually coming up in the future of the channel that you guys should definitely know about. So the first one being, and in a bit of a dramatic note, I want to be the guy who proves a lot of people wrong, a certain majority. And people have tried this on the internet, however much people have tried that with like medium success. However, with me, I feel like I could totally fulfill and have that definite answer. So if you guys kind of didn't tell by the title of this video, I want to be the guy who has a definite answer in being you can build a $500 gaming PC, specifically a console killer, kind of like in a mini ITX form factor that beats out the PS4. Now there are two things that have arisen that kind of make this thing sort of a possibility right now. One being in that my channel right now is in the place where I can do that. And number two in being that an article actually just got released over saying that the PS4 and Xbox One right now equate to the real life performance of a R7 260X, which for $500 we can totally beat that thing. So right now I'm kind of planning this out and see if I can do it and I actually have three PC Parpicker lists in the description down below and I want you guys to vote on which one you think you guys would think would be the best for this task. You guys can even post your own in the comment section down below and you know I can check out those too. But right now I just want to be that guy with the definite answer that you can build a gaming PC that is faster than a PS4 or Xbox One. Because I want to have that definite answer all over YouTube and we go ahead and like share the crap out of this video on Reddit and you know pretty much everywhere else. So I want to actually build a gaming PC that's in a micro ATX a mini ITX form factor and in which it'll beat out the PS4 and Xbox One. Now the only downside to this is that it'll take out a large amount of money from my editing PC build budget and if you guys haven't noticed editing videos on my computer is actually really slow. Here's a little video clip of me rendering my top 5 gaming CPUs and even just rendering a 1080p video with like color correction and lighting enhancements and having like a 4 minute video it takes roughly 45 minutes or just a really long time. I can't really remember what time it was on the video, but it was taking me a really long time to upload my videos and plus my room got pretty hot. So there's just a little video clip showing that I kind of do need a newer editing computer. However, I would be willing to take out about $500 out of that budget and make this console killer because I think like that would be a really cool thing for this channel and for everyone to see. So go ahead and vote on which PC part bigger list you want to see and if you're and if you guys are okay with me kind of going with this special operation. Anyways, number two is that a friend of mine is actually going to be building a $2,500 gaming computer that I configured for him. So I'm thinking of doing another PC build video, but this time it's actually going to be one of the few times that I actually do a gaming PC build in real life. And I have all the parts in real life and like showcasing them and all that stuff. So I'm actually going to be putting out a like $2,500 gaming PC build video soon i don't really know when it's going to come out because my friend hasn't ordered all the parts yet however he's wondering if the 390x is faster than like the gtx 980 that he has picked out which even though the 390x probably will be faster um i'm just like confirming so right now he may order his parts i don't know between now and june i don't know when but just expect a real life gaming pc build video to be coming out in the next two months now number three is that i'm approaching 30,000 subscribers and in celebration of that i'm thinking of doing a q a video so if you want to ask me literally any questions for my new q a video for 30,000 subscribers you can either tweet me on my twitter page at mark or you can go onto my steam group profile page and go ahead and ask me questions on that and like in the discussions tab so anyways, those are going to be the two main places I'm going to be looking for questions. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update video. Like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff, and this is the channel setting out.